In this next video in our introduction to InfraWorks, we're going to take a look at drawing pathways in. We're going to be placing additional roads. Also, I will show you the settings for the knuckles and the cul-de-sacs. And let's go do that right now. So under my style palette, if I scroll down to roads, I have a number of additional roads here that I've created. So if I take a look at the City of Calgary residential cul-de-sac, And as you see down here, when I double click on it, we have one driving lane. It says one backwards lane, however, it doesn't, it doesn't create it. And we have our sidewalk, our green space, and our trees and lamps. So by moving things around, by selecting what's here, up and down, left and right, on the left-hand side, and this works the same way as your corridor when you're applying your, your contractions and expansions when you're going around a knuckle, on the left hand side, I have my road. Now it all depends on which way your alignment is going, but I have my road on my left. The me I have no median and then I have a right group, which is my curb, sidewalk and green space. And there's the settings for that in this window. And again, under the decorations, my right bucket green space, I have those two things added. Now, before you go and do this, you have to have your alignment. So I've inserted, uh, additional alignments. I have an alignment for this knuckle. I have alignment for the cul-de-sac and I have alignment for this knuckle. So three additional alignments in. Now, if I was to make that road travel lane wider, you can kind of see where they are overlapping a bit right in this location here where my mouse is. You can see there's a little bit of a texture issue. Now that's because the road is being applied around the entire corner and they are overlapping in this location. If I make it any wider, it's going to extend into the sidewalk and green space. So I just had to trick it with a little bit of a coverage area in the middle. If I take a look at my residential knuckle inside. So again, you have a knuckle inside, knuckle outside, same as your corridor. On the left is my road. And on the right is my road as well. I just have no backwards driving lanes. Here's my options for that. And for the residential knuckle outside, so around the outside of the bulb, here's my options for that. And with everything else in for works, it's a simple drag and drop. So this is the city of Calgary residential outside knuckle, just so I know what I'm using. If I drag and drop my concrete road onto that, it's obviously going to change. So residential outside knuckle. Now there is a little bit of a of finickiness right now with trying to get them to tie together. However, when you're looking at it just from the top down view, it looks a lot better than having your road just go straight through. So a couple additional alignments that you have in your drawing and a split main road and you can apply different pieces to that. Now, if you wanna draw walking paths and ponds, we're gonna stay under the create and manage your model. The, sorry, the I tab, and we're gonna to go to create component designs or conceptual design features. And I'm gonna select add roads. Now here's a giant list of roads. So we can draw any of these roads in manually but I'm gonna filter out sidewalks. There should be a sidewalk built in here. I've created a couple additional ones, so four meters wide for street and with street lights on it. I'll just select my four meter wide one and I'm gonna sketch where I want it. When I'm done, I'm gonna hit enter twice and it's gonna place that sidewalk in for me is going to try to conform to the ground as best as possible. However, it doesn't always do a perfect job. So you may have to add more, more nodes in, click a few more times and whatnot, but we can change anything related to this. If I wanted to adjust that curve a little bit, make it straight maybe. It's a simple drag and drop, move things around. I can move that up. If I wanted to put a nice little ramp with a bridge, and have some water flowing under it, but we can 
design an actual bridge later if we wanted to. Same with roads. The roads works the, the exact same way. So if I just choose a generic street, if I click anywhere on this road, it's going to tie this road into that. So if I have another road coming around, we'll hit enter twice. It should create a couple of intersections for us and break the the main road. So it's removed the trees, it's removed the green space in those two locations automatically for us when we connect roads to it. Unfortunately, the pathways do the same thing when we snap to it, it will break the intersection, which this is not realistic. So I tend to get them as close to the other sidewalks as possible. And I try and adjust it up and down a little bit to make it look as good as I possibly can. So that was drawing in some paths and some roads, some sidewalks and roads. And again, they are, they're in here as well. So in your style palette under roads and you can add decorations to it. So on this, I have a street light and a fence. So this will put a fence along our pathway and that's what I've done on the side of this little pond here so people don't fall in. Now drawing some water, I'm gonna go under the drainage option. I'm gonna select the draw uh, button and I can draw rivers. So I can create uh, a, a flowing river. So if we have a river flowing down beside our site here, place a little bit of a river in and we can also adjust it like the pathways so I can drag and drop the grips I can make the bank width and I believe doing this will put some sand in a little sandy area or show the banks water level that will take it down to minus three meters which in this case maybe not a good idea let's try a thousand Okay, still not a good idea. We're about 1087. So we'll do 1100 or just leave it blank to put it on the surface. The same works for water areas. We can do a splined area. And you're basically just drawing a little bit of a spline. Hit enter twice and I'll put that water in. And we get the same kind of options. We can do bank width. You can do zero meter buffer or bank a 10 meter wide and that puts the sand in. So quite a few options. We can draw water areas. Uh, we can draw rivers, we can draw lakes, create nice little ponds and increase the way, the visual aspect of our model here.